Ah, oh, YouTube's favorite gold mine of content. No, no, it's not Schmitty. Please post more. I, 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 ha I have an addiction to this. No, it is Darman. <gasps> Ready? Let's go watch some of his videos. Let's watch this one. Single mom shamed by soccer mom. And I'm going to try to go do at least two videos today. Because... That, he has 18 billion views. Wait, what? No? I- that's- Hmm? Darman. <laughs> huh? Huh? Your, uh, your little, uh, channel thing says over 18 billion views. Let's see. Hundreds, thousands, millions, bit- you have three million views. Unless it's a trillion. Is that a trillion? No, I. Am I going insane? I. Yeah, let's just. You have three billion views. I do not want to hear about it. Trash bag. Although it's fitting for the content we're about to watch. Ugh. Okay. I already watched the f uh, the first few seconds accidentally. Someone's going to get yelled at right now. I said that. I said, no, honey. That's caviar. Well, w if you couldn't tell, woman was already... <laughs> <coughs> oh, I have COVID. Oh, no. I'm going to get the, the little thing below. I said COVID. Yeah, but she's laughing before the punchline, and I said, no, honey, it's caviar. Okay. <laughs> Has anyone seen Scott? He's 30 minutes late. Has anyone seen Scott? <laughs> I mean, oh, really a surprise. Has anyone seen Scott? He's 30 minutes late. Oh my god. Guys? Hi. We're here. I... And I'm so sorry. Oh wow, right on cue. Actually, can I see her in the background? That's caviar. <laughs> yeah. She. Oh wow. Now I actually dislike them. That really a surprise? Hi. Yeah, they, they were actually in the background. Like, hi, we're here. No, oh, Jesus. We're here. I and I'm so sorry, Coach. The waitress that was supposed to relieve me was 30 minutes late, but we are here. Hey, Scott. Hey, Coach. Go ahead and warm up. Your son is a great player. Yes, I don't. I don't get it. Oh God. Please try to get him here on time. Otherwise, he's not gonna be able to play in the big match next week. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. Get him to the match on time, not practice. If he's, I mean, yes, he should go to practice, so this is why I don't do soccer. British, you. Or right, Indian, right. Uh, or okay, German. I will. Or... Thank you. But, yeah. <whistles> this is a normal thing. Therefore, not re requiring your your Sabia piano music. God. What even is just Darman like a director or something? I think we just accept it. As it is. Isn't this the second time this week your son has been late? Yeah, yeah it is. It's just so hard juggling work and being a mom all by myself. Well yeah. Don't you think the parents and act? Well, I'm assuming this uh, parent is hyper competitive, and well, I've played youth sports. Parents are hyper competitive. So, if you know, you don't have a husband to help you. Uh, no, it's just me. Oh, life choices. That's a joke. If you want to be a single parent mom, go do it. 
it's going to be extra hard, and I wouldn't recommend it. You're a single mom? Oh, that is such a shame. Scoffs. I don't think that was a scoff, unless I'm horrible at reading things. That was just... I do feel like she has an awful tone, but I can't tell if it's sarcastic or not, and I don't think it's a scoff. Aim. I mean, if that was meant to be a scoff, it was an awful scoff. So, <laughs> let's, get, let's get on with this amazing video that could not be beat. Oh, God. Scoffing. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm sorry? Well, everybody knows a child needs a mother and a father. Technically, that's not accurate. They just need a male donor <laughs> sure um yeah but um um so, uh parent uh child with uh with single parent households tend to do worse in school drugs violence other things so yeah it is it is definitely more helpful to have a single parent household please don't i don't give me a strike youtube <laughs> to be successful <sighs> well, also not true, but statistically is more likely for a, a, a person who has the exact same conditions, race, ethnicity, everything, uh, the exact same life experiences, future, past, and present, um, except for, you know, divorce and marriage or single versus two-parent households. Yeah, um... I mean, it's yeah, proven whatever. that kids from single-parent homes end up on the street. That's a bit of an overstatement, but again, technically, statistically accurate. Yes, children with single-parent households generally end up on the street more often. It's... Wow. Uh, well, Tina, thank you for your concern, but that's not going to happen to my son. He's going to be just fine. Well, how would you know? Well, you don't have to get defensive about it. I'm just telling you the statistics. Again, the statistics are true. There's You can't refute it. Hey, look at these kids. They're all practicing with their dads. I, okay, if they spent 30 minutes just doing stretches or passing the ball down. I don't... Jesus Christ. I mean, how fast does youth sports now move? Back in my day... <laughs> Jesus Christ. And who's helping your son? Nobody. No, he's helping himself. So what? Which is why he's never going to be any good at soccer. Yes, compared to people who actually... Well, are good at soccer... Yeah, most likely he's never going to be good at soccer, but neither is your son. Suck it. For your information. Hey, Mom! Check out this trick I just learned from Dad. Ah! <laughs> that is so good! Now get back out there and keep practicing with your dad. Oh, come on. Come on. That's. Nah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this is an unrealistic conversation. If this is supposed to be a re- Nah, but seriously, Gordon. God damn it. Yeah, but anyways, back to my point. This isn't a realistic conversation, and if it is, well, it, I don't I don't feel like it's being portrayed, and wow, it's actually, like, it's it's supposed to be a real- It's supposed to be a exaggerated situation of real-world events- to, well, bring in viewpoints. And if it's that, sure, fine. But I don't see... I don't see an indication of it being a exaggeration of reality. I see it trying to imitate reality. So there's a little bit of a flaw, I see. So, what tricks does your son know? Yeah, again, why? <laughs> this is like... This is like... 
the most passive aggressive thing ever. Well, I'm alone in the chair with another... I don't care. Yeah, but um, again, it's not a realistic thing. If if this mom actually had this much resent, I guarantee you, she would she would she would feel offended that this person would even talk to her if she would actually have this much resent towards her. I I do not feel like this person would even communicate with this person. So, yeah, uh, I don't see a real world wor in where this is happening. So, yeah, um, point again. <laughs> All right, honey. Good luck. Okay, what, okay. Oh, what about my tie? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, let me you don't have your tie. Oh, jeez. Okay, now this is... You do realize you can tie a tie while walking, sitting, standing, sprinting. Sprinting's a bit harder, but yeah. No? Get that. Okay. Okay. Oh. You also have a pre-tied tie, Jesus. Well, it's not perfect, but... And that's a... And it's on the... Oh my. It'll do. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess it will. Thanks, Mom. Person should just leave. I didn't know Scott was oh, in speech God. and debate. Uh, yeah, he just enrolled, and he's really excited about the upcoming tournament. Why does his suit look so big on him? Well, I bought it at the Goodwill. Um, it's kind of hard to find the perfect size. What? You bought him a used suit? Well, considering this bitch has two colors of eyes, no, no, actually, she has a blue and and a brown eye, orange eye. Uh, what the hell, Darman? Did you did you hire a person from Tasmania? Australian jokes. That is so sad. Oh. Again. What is up with that tie? Look, I don't need Just you- Just don't wear a tie. Criticizing everything about my son, or the way that I parent. It also, wh what's the point of it? Do you think that her her lecture, or refute of her, well, most likely, um, very, um, well, yes, this, whatever, uh, not her refute, I guess, of the other woman's, um, I guess, passive-aggressive behavior and, and, um, judging everything she does as substandard, do you think that this little refute is going to actually do anything? And if it does, what? <laughs> it's already hard enough being a single mom, okay? Okay, fine. Sheesh. Oh my god, just leave. I'm saying is that if he had a father, he would at least have a proper suit and tie. And technically, it is a proper suit and tie, so get owned. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't believe I said that. Uh, are you serious right now? Uh, take a look around. Look at all these fathers who are helping their sons prepare. And who is helping your son? himself again what the moral of the story is be nice wow shocking this is this is why mass murder is good sometimes exactly which is why he's never going to be able to compete against the other boys well considering i tend to do projects alone and um constantly gets a's I'm gonna go flex my grades here. By the way, nobody cares. Um, yeah, how about you, uh, well, shut up. <laughs> Look, Tina, I am really getting tired of you stating the- Well, actually, well, if, if- How does this person know a- this person on a name-to-name ba basis? Uh, Facts? Staying the- okay, this is now officially- a is this satire? I have a feeling this is satire. 
I mean, seriously, this is this is like the most stereotypical. Uh, I, Jesus, yeah, this is this has become past the point of actually trying to make educational or moral videos. And if if I if I made this in a satirical way, <laughs> I think it could actually be a legitimate. A legitimate um piece if it was written as satire without any edit edits oh i know honey the truth hurts and this is why the cast women sexist jokes am i right yes i know um irony irony <laughs> you can see english Okay, sweetheart. You need anything? Okay, sweetheart. Hmm. How about a father? Oh, get it? Get the get the get the joke. There you are. So, what? what? She's wearing like this yellow or red u uniform shirt, uniform dress, dress thing. I I don't know what to call it. With. It, yeah, it's completely just mishmash. I mean, you have like a mar. What even is that? I'm gonna assume it's like marble or something with a wood and this, and it, it looks like the act or waiters or waitresses in this case uh, should be wearing like full on suit and ties. So this looks like a decent quality restaurant. It's not McDonald's. And there you go. And I apologize for the wait. We've been a little short-staffed. It's not a problem. Oh! Hey, Samantha. Yeah, so... so oh, God. Cute uniform. <laughs> okay, so they, they do call it a hey, uniform. Let me know if you need anything else. I didn't realize you worked... You know, she should just walk away and tell the manager to kick her out. You do, you do, you, God. We're talking about adults? God. Here, who's watching Scott? Scott comes to work with me, and he's right over there. Again, what, did, did you hire an inbred person? Why? Why does she have two different eye colors? It's so distracting. I'm not even focusing on the actual video anymore. I'm, I'm just wondering why she she has two different eye colors. That poor kid. He has to spend his weekends at a restaurant watching you work. Well, actually, he. Well, no, actually, I uh, I do my work on the weekends. That's right. I'm a nerd. Meanwhile. Um, people are identifying as nerds. Look, I don't have glasses or anything. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess that doesn't make me a nerd. So, he yeah. He doesn't mind. And besides, it's a good way for him to get his homework done. Uh yes, I agree. The weekend is not a time for fun and play. It's a time to do homework. And fun and play. Oh, Wow, he doesn't have anyone to help him. My husband always helps Jeremy with his homework. Well, we're like, oh, he has to do his work on the weekends. Meanwhile, you're 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 having your son do his work on the week on the Jesus. Christ. That's why he gets such good grades. Well, I'm really happy for you. That's really great but anyhow i've really got to... okay oh, hey. he's probably going to graduate at the top of his class i am so proud of him wow watch 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 him graduate as top of class you know if you really if he, if you know your son gets better grades just flex because obviously she thinks she's superior so Look, I I am I'm a very good um, tactician. I know. Quit flattering yourself, but if you want to declare war 
on my working single mom? How about this? Hey, get them to get good grades. Hint, hint. You can buy, like, a decent scientific calculator for $5 or something like that. I don't even remember. Ugh, jeez, I bought mine so many years ago. Anyways, um, yeah. And, um, let's just say, uh, his English assignments were to improve uh, with their grammar. Yeah. <laughs> um, what kind of grades is Scott getting? I mean, since he doesn't have a dad, they seriously enough with the single mother comments, Tina. Just because he doesn't have a father does not mean that he won't be successful. That's true. It does mean he's less likely to be successful. You see, when I found out I was pregnant, it was the happiest day of my life. So he's like 14 years old? Well, that is until I told my husband. He didn't want to have any children or any responsibility. Then how about you put a ring on it? No, not in the Beyonce way. Actually, is that song about the, um, well, putting a ring on it? I'm trying to use ad friendly language. These. So he walked out on me on the spot. And, what? and I couldn't stop crying. And after Scott was born, after Scott was born, <laughs> I promised him that even though I was all by myself, that I was going to be. Well, yeah, well, you were. Okay, I'm assuming you've gone 14 or 15 years w without getting a. Okay, now I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think that you actually didn't search for a husband, which is fine. But you were married before. I don't see why you wouldn't want to get married again. Yeah. To be the best mom that I could ever be to him. To give him the best chance at success possible. Well, if you want to statistically do it, uh, get a father. Yeah, still her comments are uh, not the nicest and certainly very much incorrect. And as he got older, even though I would be exhausted by the time I got home from work, I mm. never let that stop me from playing sports with Scott. Well, considering that um, you're not the... Well, you're most likely not the most skilled. Uh, it's more of, uh, yeah. I don't want to know about it. It's most likely not the most important for Scott's soccer career. Although, still is important because it's, well, you need to test some things. I'd say that's a pretty good tie. I mean, sure, it's not perfect, but I mean, it's a, a lot better of a tie than I could tie. I mean, I guess it's a tie for Tina and, uh, I forgot the other girl's name. Sam Samantha? Sam Sam uh, something like that. Let's continue. I still make sure to help him prepare for everything that he wants to do in life. Hmm. And also, I'm assuming you've been working a job, the same job for a decent amount of time. You should have gotten promoted I mean if if you've been working it for 14 years definitely but I'm going to assume you haven't so unless this is like your first or second year yeah you should definitely be in um well uh well in a higher position and well I'm I'm and by the way, they're framing it, I'm assuming this is like a long-term job. I don't think this is like her first day. So yeah, let's continue. And I know 
It isn't ideal to have Scott wait around for me while I'm at work. But whenever I get a free moment, I help him study so that he can be as successful as possible. Yeah, there's there's an easy way to do it. It's called a calculator. Even without a dad to help him. I mean, yeah, sure. Um, You should still do the work, which I do, but I also check it with a calculator. Yeah, or unless it's addition, then I'll just do it with a calculator. So you see, even though I have half the help, I can't. I, I didn't feel a single emotion while watching this. I don't see how this is going to affect the other person. My son, twice as much love. And that is all that really matters. <laughs> yep, that's what I would have done. Not sure if I'm going to hell. But yeah, that's I would have laughed in this person's face. thing I have ever heard. But hey, if that makes you feel better, you just keep telling yourself. And that's assault. Is that okay, Samantha? <laughs> What's Samantha? Uh, excuse me, miss? Oh, hey, you better get going. They may need you to take their dirty plates away. <laughs> Samantha stands there so upset with what Tina just said but also knowing deep in her heart that she was about to prove Tina wrong. How? Samantha. Also, what the hell is your, like, pronunciation? Pro about to turn... It sounds like you're stoned. Like, you haven't smoked a 20, 20 blunts, but it sm smells like you smoked... Smells like... I can speak. Jesus Christ. The next week, when the soccer match was taking place, both teams were tied 2-2 two to two with seconds remaining. Tina's son gets the ball stolen from him, and everyone thinks their team isn't going to win. But why? There's seconds remaining. It would have to be of extreme luck and, well, lack of skill on the opposing team. Or not the opposing team, the team that we're supposedly supposed to root for, to actually lose. It'd, it'd more likely just go to overtime if that exists, and so I don't know. Except Samantha's son comes <laughs> from. <laughs> pathetic. P absolutely pathetic. The team isn't here. gonna win. So the kid is. Is Except dribbling the ball. Oh no! Samantha he loses control of the ball and runs away from it. The son. Oh wow! And the son takes it. Comes out of nowhere and takes back the ball. He kicks. Oh wow! And scores the winning goal for his team. Yeah, the goalie just reached up. He's like, "Yay!" Okay, am, am I saying that they're they? Yeah. No, that, that, is, that goal should not have been scored. I, I'm sorry. Darman, dar, make, make make a better script. That, that goal should not have been scored. Not because he's not skilled. Just because, well... Yeah, just because of... Well, the... God. This is awful. Everyone's so... Just because of the unbelievable um, of it. Oh yeah, he loses the ball and doesn't chase it. The goalie doesn't jump. The person who's very close to the ball doesn't get get the ball at all. Excited. Well, almost everyone at least. Well, yes. Now she just has a personal vendetta against her, not not because of any reason that we know of, just because she's a single mom. Which which, well, this implies that. <laughs> Also, how how does she know about this? This is like such a random thing to do. Oh, you're working? Oh no. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Then 
at the speech and debate tournament, Tina's son gives a great speech to the entire class. Tina and her husband cheer their son on, so excited for him to win the competition. There's judges? However, when the teacher goes to give the trophy, what? she walks right past Tina's son and gives it to Samantha's son instead, who gave the best overall speech. About what? Samantha and her son are so excited. Oh, my eye. While Tina can't believe what just happened. Again, the eyes. So distracting. And then, a few weeks later, Tina comes to pay Samantha a visit at the restaurant. And there you go. Two spaghetti and meatballs. Is there anything else I can get you? Is that even no. spaghetti and meatball? Comes to pay Samantha a visit at the restaurant. Okay, first of all, you're holding the plates awfully. Second of all, they are actually spaghetti and meatballs. And Although, yep. the sauce amount is unbelievable. It, 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 it's too very much too small. And if I've, I've actually ate a few spaghetti and meatballs at a few different restaurants. I'm not going to name which ones. Some of them were not the greatest. Um, but yeah, they add m more sauce than that. Spaghetti and meatballs. Is there anything else I can get you? 99 out of 100. Why would she do this? And that's assault. I would file a case. My son, he got 99 out of 100 on his report card. <laughs> so they give out percentages? Oh, wow. So you came all the way over here. To tell the me. eyes. I hate it. Uh, yeah. I told you he would be top of his class. Oh. Well, yes, you you would. If she, if he was top of his class, you would know about it basically the second he graduated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tina, that's really nice. I'm really happy for you. But now I really have to get hey, back oh, to. Oh. Okay, uh, I kind of forgot to tell you, but I got my report card back, and I got all A pluses. <laughs> what? Let me see that. 100 out of... Well, yeah, that's assuming they're in the same class. Actually, I... Okay, so he has al Algebra 2, Biology, Health, Care, and Physical Ed, History, English... He has Economy? What the hell? Oh, whatever. What? He doesn't have debate on this. Unless well, that's your debate, but it's so. Here. One second. No, he has Spanish too! <laughs> he doesn't have debate at all. Lies. Absolute lies. No, no, that's a fake report card. I refuse to. No, fake report card. I do not accept that he got a hundred out of a hundred due to the absence of the debate class on it. Instead, he took Spanish 2, apparently. Okay, let's look at this. Algebra 2, Biology, Physical Ed, History... And this kid has French 2! Yeah. No, no, I... Also, no debate. Both of these report cards are fake. Heritage High School... Oh, God, come on. Yeah, both of these report cards are fake. I, I think his son actually got a 50. And, well, this son faked one. I don't know how. Probably used some of the um very fresh ingredients in the back. But, uh, yeah, both of these report cards are fake. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. No way. See? I told you. He was doing just fine. Yeah, and now you're gonna get a now you're gonna get a little fine for assaulting this woman. So sorry. But how? How could you do that without a dad to help? Because it's a fake report card. I just proved it, and you also made a fake report card. Pew. I don't need a dad. I've got my mom, and look, I know 
know that Jesus. Jesus is like half the amount of time to take care of me, but Jesus. Half the she gives me time. twice the amount of love. That's what Yes. Love doesn't translate to goddamn grades. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Scoffs. Yeah, that's a proper scoff. One, she she shouldn't have just said that. Two, that's a that's a great grade. Actually, one second, I need to go take a uh, look at the report card again because don't think that's in. Okay, either he got an A plus or a B plus. Well, actually, no, those are numbers. Yeah, but it. One second. Oh yeah, that's that's a ninety eight. So let's see, we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's an A plus. A night. At least I think it's an A plus. Is a hundred an A plus? No, because the rest of them are also ninety eights. So no, he shouldn't have gone. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> Jesus. Makes no sense. I've just a bunk. No. Mm -mm. Um. No. No, on the things that actually. So let's say it was a 98 but, and the rest were 100s. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's do a little bit of averages. Ready? 100 plus. What? 100 plus. 100. Actually, I could just do it. Uh, whatever. Uh, how many is that? That's 5. And that's six, right? Yep. Plus ninety-eight equals six hundred and ninety-eight. Whatever. Now we're gonna divide that by seven. Wow, ninety-nine point seven one four two eight five. Ninety-nine points. Nice. Oh wow, because uh, Jesus. You know what I've learned about teachers is yeah, they generally round up. So I would say either either it has to be, you know, all the way there, which is perfectly legitimate and could actually be true, but most likely, actually, no, he got a hundred out of hundred. So yeah, mm, yeah, here we were. <sighs> we can all do like a TikTok video. And that's it. You're way too old to be doing TikTok. Okay. Yeah, I you would agree. It's always to dance. What are you trying to oh do? God. Make us his followers? I was just trying to embarrass me. Just leave. Yes, please. The ending. Oh my god. Just leave. Yes, please. Yeah, so anyways, the moral of the story is don't fake your report cards. Especially if your kid was taking debate and not French or Spanish too. My god. Yeah. Anyways, um, both of the characters fake their report cards. There is no meaning to this entire thing. Both of the parents just wanted to go flex in each other's faces to prove each other wrong, and they made massive mistakes, which which may could be explained. But also, the kid got a ninety eight on one of his classes, and it was ruled an A play, an A plus. The uh, the single parent mom kid, him. I forgot his name. Yeah, so don't fake your report cards. Anyways, bye.